Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make the braided headbands. That look something like this. It's really not hard. The first time I did it, it took me probably an hour, an hour to do. Now I can do them in about 20 minutes to a half hour. So, um, let's get started. Okay, the things you're going to need, you're going to need a half inch. These are half inch. Um, the headbands do come in inch, but um, it's just customer preference. So, this one's a half inch. This is what we're going to be working with, and that's what these are. So, you're going to need the half inch headband. This is just a plastic headband that I got from, um, I, I bought it online, I got it in bulk. And then you're going to need a lighter so that you can heat seal into your ribbon. You're going to need scissors to cut your ribbon. You're going to need a, an alligator clip of some sort, which I'll show you what that's for here in a minute. And you're going to need coordinating ribbon or whatever colors you want. Uh, you can have up to four, four different ribbons on these. And then you're going to need a glue gun. And I think that's it. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your ribbon and you're going to measure it out. I cut these to about 27 to 28 inches long. It gives you enough to work with to when you come to the end that it's you're not pushed by just having just a little bit left. So I have already cut the ribbon. So I'm going to go ahead and heat seal it. You don't have to heat seal both ends. You can just heat seal one end, but I'm just funny about that. Because you're going to cut the other end off anyway. So. So we'll just heat seal those real quick. Okay, now the next thing you want to decide these out of the way. You want to decide what color like <clears throat> on this. This is actually the glitter ribbon. I don't know if you can see it. See how shiny it is? So you whatever color or whatever pattern that you want in the center, then you want to glue in this case it's just that color so we would have two 27 inch pieces of the glitter and then we'll glue those together which I'll show you how in a second and then the other two colors you'll glue together so on this one that I'm getting ready to make I'm going to go ahead and make this is a blue a light blue saddle stitch ribbon and I'm going to go ahead and make that as my center pattern. So what you're going to do is you're going to take and you're going to put some glue right here. And then you're going to take this part and then you're just going to kind of crisscross them like that to where it makes a V. So then you're going to set that aside and then you're going to take your other ribbon and you're going to do the same thing. Now if it is, uh, let's see if I have any right here, I don't but this is a bigger, this is actually a 5 8 inch but it's only a one sided pattern so when you glue these together you're going to put them on the headband like this so you'll want to come across like this so you'll want the pattern side to be down if that makes sense if not let me know and I'll try to make it more clear so then you're going to do the same thing with these you're going to glue them together Now 
Okay, so we have our two pieces. Move these out of the way. So you have the light blue, or the solid blue, and then you have the saddle stitch. So whatever pattern or color that you want to go <clears throat> in the center, which in this in this case on this headband it would be the the silver glitter. So I would put those in my left hand. So whatever Okay, so on this one, it was the pink saddle stitch. So you'll want to take that in your left hand. So this would be the the middle of it. If I get the glue off my hands. And then you're going to take this piece. You're going to put some glue right here. And then you're going to glue these just like this. So we'll put some glue right here. And then you're just going to put those at an angle. So it's kind of a diamond shape. Just like that. So you have two on this side and you have two on this side. Now, you're going to take your headband and you're going to hold it like this and you're going to put some glue right here. So if you're holding it out in front of you, you just want to put some glue right just if you can see just enough to get it on there so it's it's not caked on but it's it's gonna stick and then you're gonna put this right there so it just hangs over just a little bit you see that and then you're just gonna hold it on there till it sets which won't take very long okay so you have two on this side and two on this side. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do, you're going to take the top right one and you're going to bring it over just like that. So just like that. Then you're going to hold it with this hand. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now you have <clears throat> three on this side. Okay, so now you're going to take this top left one and then you're going to come over the one that you just did. <clears throat> so now you have a light blue and a darker blue on this side and a light blue and a darker blue on that side. Okay, now you're going to take the top ribbon of this one on the right hand side and you're going to go under and just grab it with your left hand. So now you have three ribbons on the left side and just the one on the right side. So next you're gonna take the only one that's on the right side and bring it across. So now you have your first little braid. So now you have all four of them on the left side. So now what you're gonna do if I can get this to where you can see it. So you have these two were actually started out on the right hand side. And see how, how they kind of lay? So whatever one is laying on top, you want to take it and you want to flip it up. And then that very top one on the underneath side, you want to flip it over and bring it across. Then you can bring this one back down. Now you have three on this side and one on this side. So now you're going to take this top one right here and you're going to go under this one right here <clears throat> and in between the back one. So you're going to go under and you're going to bring it to the other side. So grab your middle finger and bring it to the other side. So now you have 
two on this side and two on this side. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, now we're going to start all over again. So this will go under, bring it to this side, and this will go over to this side. Now, you want to tug on these to keep them good and tight. So when you get to this point, this is where your clip comes in. You want to take the clip and clip it. That way, if it if you happen to let go, it's not going to all unravel. Okay, so I'll do this again. So you have all four of them on this side. You have the top two. The very top one, you want to flip it over. Get it out of the way. And then you take this top one that's behind. So you have three there, so it's that top one. And you bring it over and across. And then you can flip this back. And you want to keep a tight hold on it. Okay, so you have three on this side and one on this side. So now you're going to take this top one and go in between those two. I'll show you again. Take this top one and then you have these two down here. So you're just going to go in between those two and grab it with your other hand and bring it over. And you see how it's starting to form a braid. Okay, so then you take this top one and go under that one, the top right one, and go underneath the, I'm sorry, the bottom right one and go underneath the top right one. Let me start that over so that you're not confused. Okay, so you take the top right one, go underneath the bottom right one, and bring it to the other side. Now you have three on this side and one on this side. So you're going to take this one and bring it over. Usually when I get them all over here to this side, then I kind of go through and tighten them up a little bit. And then you can move it down. So you have all four on this side. So you want to take this top one, flip it out of the way, bring the other top one over and across. Flip that back down. Now you have three on this side, one on this side. You're going to take this one and go in between and across. I'll show you one more time and then I'll finish up to show you how um, I finish the very the very end of it. And so you go down and around, across, tighten them up. And you can move your clip down. So here we go. We got this top one. You're going to flip it out of the way to bring this top one around. And then you bring it back. And that'll go to this side. So then you have three over here. So you want to take that top one, go in between those two to the other side. And then you'll have two on this side and two on that side. Now I'll go ahead and finish it up to the end. But when you get to the end, you will want to, to where you're going to finish it off down here, you're going to want two on this side and two on this side. That's how you'll finish it up. So I will finish this up and then I will um, be back and show you what to do. Okay, so now I'm getting down here towards the end. So I'm just going to finish up real quick. And when you get them all four back on that one side, you want to tighten them all up because you want these to be good and tight. OK, 
Okay, so we're almost to the end. It starts getting a little difficult. Just make sure you keep them tight. And then you kind of just need to judge. We can probably do one more round of braiding and then Okay. So when you get down here, I bring this down here. And then what I'll do is I'll kind of bring it around a little bit just to make sure it's good and tight. And then that usually takes up the end so you can't see it. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take these two here and you're going to flip them back. So see how, let me back up a little bit and show you. Um, here's how you end it with two on this side and two on this side, the same way we started. Okay, so let me turn this back around. Okay. I'll make sure it's good and tight. Well, it's not cooperating with me. Of course, we're on camera. Okay. So we need to bring this back around, make sure it's good and tight all the way around. So when we get to the end, I'm going to flip this up and put some glue right there. And you're going to bring that up. Some glue right here. Bring it up like that. And then you're going to do the same thing underneath. Make sure they're still good and tight. Flip it over. Some glue right there. And then, sorry, I am completely out of view from you guys. Bring it up so it matches with that one. I usually do this on my lap so it's kind of awkward for me. And then you're going to bring this around like that. So then you have your two here and your two here. Now, we're going to take our scissors, and that's dry, and we're just going to, you're going to feel where it ends. So you don't want to go clear up here. You want to leave just a little bit. So I kind of go like this, and then angle it just a little. And then the same with this one. Go up and angle it. So now you have what looks like that. So then you're going to take your lighter because this is like unfinished. So you're going to take your lighter and you're just going to heat seal it. Like that. That could have been just a little bit tighter. So there's the finished product.
you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I will get back with you. And thanks for watching.